Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Keep game. All right. So tomorrow is the Western Conference Finals. Basically, game one that's going to take place between the Denver Nuggets and the Los Angeles Lakers. As the Los Angeles Lakers travel to Denver to begin a best of seven series in which whoever wins this series will represent the Western Conference in the NBA Finals. Um, the Denver Nuggets is a up and coming team, uh, uh, great athletic team for the most part. It was something I want to say, but I'm not going to say it because I don't, it, it was going to be meant to be as a joke, but, um, I'll leave it alone because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to offend anybody. So, and I don't want this to turn into a, a issue. So I'm going to just keep my mouth shut, but nevertheless, Denver is an up-and-coming team uh, led by back-to-back MVP Jokic. And as I said, they have a great squad. They have Pope. They have Murray. They have Porter Jr. They have Gordon. For the most part, athletic team. And it would be great if they could pull it off and go to the NBA Finals to face either the Heat or the Boston Celtics. Now, as far as the Eastern Conference go, I think the NBA would be okay no matter if it's the Heat or or the Celtics. And I'm going to talk about media people too. They're uh, clear bias. And you heard 2 Raw talk about this as well. Okay. But nevertheless, the problem is with the Denver Nuggets. Yes, they'll be facing the Lakers, but at the same time, they'll be not only playing against the Lakers, they will be playing against Adam Silver. They will be playing against the NBA itself. They will be playing against the media and they will be playing against the referees. I'm going to keep a very close eye on officiating in this series. It doesn't matter, and I need to bring something up, you guys. It doesn't matter how many free throws or fouls one team get versus the other. It basically comes down to the moment of when they're called. Now, if the if the officiating is balanced and they just let them play, then fine. That's fine. And hopefully, hopefully they let you know Jokic work in the paint, and let them cook. Because, you know, that's where he gets his bread at, his money. And also, he could go outside. He could shoot outside, too. But at the end of the day, I really think I really think that they should try to pound the paint and try to see if they get to the free throw line. Because I did look in that Warrior series with the Lakers. And Stephen Curry was getting hammered. And they wasn't calling any any fouls but Stephen Curry doesn't go to the foul line a lot anyway based off the fact that um I'm not gonna say his bread and butter is shooting three-pointers because we all know that Stephen Curry can take it to the hole that's fact but he doesn't get credit for that because a lot of his highlights you show him shooting three-pointers from damn near the opposite end of the (laughs) of the course sometimes So that's why he doesn't get a lot of lot of foul calls or get credit for basically being able to create his own shot. But nevertheless, like I said before, I'm just going to be paying close attention to this series because, like I say, Denver has a lot going against them. Like I said, they're not just playing against the Los Angeles Lakers. They're playing against everybody. And you look at the media people. And particularly the people that's going to be covering the finals should the Denver Nuggets get to the finals. You already know how these reporters are, which they have no business in, especially that work for mainstream media. When they say, well, you know, um, who I think is going to win this series is going to be this and that. And but at the same time, I'd rather be there than in Denver. You are not supposed to say, well, you know, I'd rather be in Los Angeles instead of Denver. Because you basically saying that you uh, are rooting. It's a difference between picking who you think is going to win based off the talent, the skill set. 
and you, you, you know, basically the overall better team. But you saying you want a team to win because you want to go there and, and chill and stuff. And as I said before, reporters, they like to do their thing, too. They like to go hang out, go hang out at bars, go to go to clubs and stuff, go to VIP rooms. You know, like they're not going to be basically, you know, they're going to ask for a VIP room where they could just chill and. You know, get they, you know, get their little drink on, get their little shot of uh, Hennessy or whatever their preferred drink is and stuff. But people like to hang out. They like to go shopping and stuff at certain places. So, you know, if the finals is in Los Angeles, you know, they can go to uh, Melrose. Go shopping over there, even though Melrose is uh, <laughs> ain't that close, ain't that close to the Staples Center or Beverly Hills or places like that. You know, they got some good shopping in Inglewood as well. But still, they'd rather be in that area. As far as Miami, Miami is Miami. <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I mean, Miami is Miami. Boston ain't never been to Boston. But at the same time, Boston is one of the NBA's marquee teams. So even though the city of Boston is historically racist, some of these media people wouldn't mind going to Boston because they know the history of Boston and they're probably like a lot of the people with Boston. Yeah, I said it. So like I said before, um, I'm, I've been to Denver a couple of times and I can tell you right now, Denver, the airport is very far from the actual city. I don't even think that's, I don't even think the airport is in the city. I mean, Denver International or whatever it's called, it's it's pretty far from it's pretty far from the city itself. And Denver, I mean, Denver is OK. But I wouldn't exactly say it's a, a, a tourist city. So, you know, it's not like Philadelphia or places like that. Philadelphia is underrated as far as nightlife going, all that kind of stuff. But for real. So there you have it. I didn't mean to carry on a little bit. I didn't mean to digress a little bit, but yeah, um, that's the problem going into this series. Uh, the Nuggets got the odds stacked against them. There's going to be people openly and then behind the scenes rooting against them because at the end of the day, this series is really a celebration of LeBron James. Real talk. Anyway, Spoiltail Beers, I'm out.